it's really homey up there. It's comforting, there's natural light everywhere, and it's beautiful. The girls come in to the art room and that door is like a portal to a magic place. They walk in and they can express themselves and um, that's what I encourage. I'm a painter myself, so I teach the girls about painting. I teach them um, in ways that are two-dimensional and three-dimensional because you never know where their interests and their abilities lie. But to that end, um, it's important for them to uh, be exposed to a lot of art, and in this incredible city, we have access to that. There's one thing to study it, there's another thing to experience it when you're um, making something like the artist that you're going to see, and there's another way that you call information that you've actually researched, and that happens on all levels when I take them out. Um, I'm working on an acrylic painting, and it's uh, inspired by Ms. Seath, the first art teacher at the study. Um, we, we actually had the choice of whatever we wanted to paint, but we had to make sure it was inspired by one of her first paintings. Mine is actually um, lips and it was inspired by her painting of flowers and we must we had to do a first base of acrylic paint and then work with the chalk so outline everything and then reapply the acrylic paint over the chalk. Yeah I love it. Mm -hmm. I love painting. Alors l'inspiration est venue de Elisit qui était um, uh, la, la première professeure d'art ici à, à notre école et l'inspiration vient pas nécessairement de ce qu'elle a peint, mais des couleurs qu'elle utilise et de sa technique. Alors, comme vous pouvez voir que les couleurs sont similaires entre les deux. I had one student who actually uh, devised a way and talk about in, um, innovative ideas. She used the glue gun glue. When it was hot, she let it cool off and actually she let it drip and she pulled it from the glue gun. And then when it was dry and cooled, she was able to color it, replicating the, uh, the glass of Dale Chihuly. It was remarkable. And it's only through art that these girls are going to really uh, be able to um, innovate in a very uh, uniquely individual way and so a lot of times I'll just set out a lot of materials for them and they decide how to use it. I'm there almost as a coach. There's a, always a reflective component as well so they're reflecting on their own creative process because that's what I teach. The questions that I ask them are both specific but open-ended enough so that I could actually um, have um, a window into how they're thinking about their work. Uh, plus, of course, their effort and enthusiasm, their stick-to-itness, their problem-solving, their problem-finding. Often we don't think about problem-finding, but you have to be a good problem-finder to be able to be a good problem-solver. In real life, we're taking it and saying, how best can I express this idea? And who's an expert on this idea? And how can I collaborate with this person to enrich my idea? And you know, you, you want your students to really understand that there's many ways of looking.